Welcome to our video on converting notebook generated HTML snippets to LaTeX and PDF. Today we're tackling a question that many Jupyter Notebook users encounter. Our viewer wonders how to properly convert HTML content displayed in their notebooks into a PDF format, especially when using the NB Convert tool. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To convert HTML snippets generated in Jupyter Notebooks to PDF, we need to ensure that the HTML content is properly rendered in the final output. First, let's understand the issue. The first step is to modify how we display HTML in the notebook. Instead of using the display function directly, we can use a different approach to ensure the HTML is captured correctly. Next, we need to configure Jupyter NB Convert to handle HTML content correctly. This can be done by creating a custom template that includes support for HTML. Finally, ensure that Pandoc is installed and configured correctly, as it will be used in the conversion process. This will help in converting the LaTeX output to PDF seamlessly. By following these steps, you should be able to convert your Jupyter Notebook HTML snippets into a well-formatted PDF document. Happy coding! Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Exporting HTML from Jupyter Notebooks to PDF can be tricky. The process relies on LaTeX, which struggles with complex HTML. Simple HTML works, but even markdown tables may not render correctly. practical workaround is to download the notebook as HTML. Then, open it in Chrome and use the print function to save it as a PDF. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.